Okay, what I'd like to show you in this video is I want to talk to you about customizing the 2011 theme. It's something a few people have asked about, so I just want to show you how it's done. Now, I am going to say be prepared. We're going to be editing some code, but don't panic. It's very, very simple to do. It really, really is. Now, this is what my site looks like at the moment, and you can see here I've got posted in up here and um, posted on and posted in I want to get rid of those I want to make them gone because obviously they take away from the home page I don't want people to know how old the post is I don't want to see what category it's in or anything like that now the way you do this is you have to use the editor now the editor does involve um, messing around with some HTML now don't be frightened it, it isn't too difficult to do there's quite a lot of help online about this what I would recommend is before you edit anything is you go into the page you want to edit you press Control a to select everything Control c to copy it you go and paste it into notepad and save it somewhere so i'd start uh, notepad i'd paste it in there and then if i break it i've got a copy of it and i can just copy it back in and off i go again so that's how i i tend to do this if i'm not sure that's how I, I edit the code because last thing I want is to, to to break something basically. So over here you've got all your pages. You can see there's lots of different pages now. There are ways you can create child themes and you know make the changes just in the child theme. But to be honest, I I think that's that's quite a lot of work. It is better to do it that way. It's the proper way to do it. But once you've done this, once you've edited these, if you ever update your theme. It's going to overwrite the changes, which is why you tend to do a child theme. But I want to keep it relatively simple. So I'm going to show you a couple of the pages here. This is the main index template. Okay, this is basically what decides what your home page looks like. And it's very simple. It, tell, it here all these is it's getting the bits and pieces um, to to make your page look decent. So in most other themes for example you would do the work in here or or you would do it in the page template or the single post both of these often need doing with a lot of other themes because it the, the same bit of code is in the page template which you can see there's not much in here at all and it's also in the single post now one thing you can do here is you could remove that if you wanted to remove your comments you can delete that and that should delete the comments but like I said always always make sure you've got a backup uh, I mean worst case you can plug it um, reinstall the, the theme but like I said it's not too hard to do so long as you you know just be very careful with it so if I go into um, if I look at my page let's just open that uh, my, my post that's a post there sorry um, let's have a look at that you can see that it's got the comment section so if I edit this and uh, fingers crossed this works and I update that ha that worked phew um, you can see it's deleted the comment box so people can't leave comments now and I would have to repeat that on the page because otherwise if I go to sample page this will have comments on it so let's just let that load there you are so you see it's on there so we go back into here go to page template and you can see it it's not complex you don't have to understand the code in order to be able to do this so scroll down comments template let's just take that out update the file and you see if you follow this it's pretty simple it's mostly the same for all um, all themes mostly you'll find the page template controls everything that goes on the page and the single post is everything that goes on um, the post so there you can see it's gone from here okay so next thing we want to look at uh, the single page the the post because if we go back home we will want to get rid of 
um, this here but we also want to get rid of it on our posts because obviously it's on all of our posts as well and you can see here as we scroll down we've got the this information at the bottom so we go over to content single I believe it is okay now this is where we start to get a bit more fun you've got to be aware of of what we call div tags these things if you delete the they, they open like that and then they close with a slash if you leave one you can completely mess your site up so here it says this is it says posted on so I want to take that off because that's going to um, that's going to do put under here posted on which isn't on this this one for some reason um, but it would display it there so I've taken that off then I want to scroll down a bit further and I'm looking for uh, let's have a look there there's the Oh, that's in the header. Sorry, let's leave that in there. Um, yeah, let's see, there it is. Ah, I've spotted it. I do want to take that out. Phew, I was right. So we take that out. And I'm just going to make one change at a time, which I know is going to be slightly painful. But I want to see each change as I do it and as it's working. Because um, it's going to give you a bit more confidence then. And probably me too, uh, that we're doing this okay. So if I F5 that now and refresh it you can see that's gone from up here so that's brilliant that's that gone so we want to get rid of this where it says edit and we want to get rid of this bit at the bottom so let's have a look now see if we can get rid of these um, what we're looking for is if we go right down to the bottom we're looking for right what's it say it says this entry was posted in so we're looking for something that says this entry was posted in where does it say that? Okay, we want to make quite a big delete here. So we go up here and it says footer class equals quotes entry meta. We want to select that all the way down here to where it says the PHP end if. We take that out and then we update the file and it's gone. So it's gone from there. So if we go home, we'll still see it on our home page because we haven't deleted it from there but it's gone from the single post so if we just let that load you can see this is still here now another thing you can do while we're here so if we go to footer you can see at the bottom here we've got proudly powered by WordPress what we can do is we can take that out by uh, I think taking all this out and we can put a href equals great I did this. So let's just save that. And then we will see, and that will be gone as well. So there you are. See, what I've done is I've put a link to, to, I can link to another page or I can link to my page. What I would do is I would put this as my keyword link to my own page. So for my Learn French Fast Now page, that would say Learn French Fast Now. And it will be a link to learnfrenchfastnow.com. And basically, that means as the search engines goes through your site, the last thing they see is your keyword pointing to your own site. So you've always got a link pointing to your home page on every single page. So that's how you do that. That's something, again, that I do feel is relatively important. Now, we want to look at the home page, which I believe is a content intro. And you can see here, We've got the same things here. Um, getting both of those open, do I? Let's have a look. So entry content. So what we're doing is we've got to sort of track down a little exactly where we, we have to put uh, what we have to delete. Okay, the actual one you want to edit is content.php. Now you can see there's some similarities here. We go down to here where it says post equals equals get post type. And let's take out that bit in the middle, update the file, and there you are. That's got rid of this bit at the top here. We can also do things like if we scroll down a bit further, um, 
we're looking for posted in again. So we're looking for posted in. Where's it gone? Okay, uh, we go down further to it says span class equals quotes cat dash links. Take out this here. Make sure you leave that span there. Save it. And it's got rid of posted in. It just says one reply. Now we might want to get rid of that as well. Okay, and we go down a little bit further to here. What we want to do is we want to pretty much take out this section here. This would take, take it out where it says X amount of replies. Right, now that's actually just changed the way things look. So let's just um, work out exactly which bit we need to get rid of. Let's put that back. Um, this bit here, we can get rid of this link. That's uh, a good one to go. If we get rid of that, that's going to get rid of the ed edit box. And there you are. We can see we've got rid of the edit box. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get rid of pretty much all of this here. Because what's going to happen is, is here it will list the tags. Now this hasn't post hasn't got any tags, which is why there's nothing there. So what we'll have to do, right, what we want to do is we want to go here. See where it says footer class entry equals meta. Put your cursor below that, scroll down to just above where it's slash footer. Delete everything, save. And there you see it's got rid of all the bottom. The only thing we've got left is this annoying thing at the top here with the comments in. So let's scroll up and we'll work out how to get rid of that. Okay, we scroll up, see here where it says div class equals comment link. link. What we do, we select all that, remove that, update the file, and that's gone as well. So there you are, you've got your perfect looking page. All you need to do is add your content in, and obviously it's going to look brilliant. You can obviously change the sidebar. Um, but you've got rid of all the extra bits and pieces that you really didn't want on your page. It's very simple to do once you know how. But like I said, before you edit anything, select it all, copy it, go and paste it into Notepad and save it. And then you've got a copy of it in case anything goes wrong. Remember, if you update your theme, it will overwrite these settings for you. So it's, it's very quick to do this. It's very easy. Um, and like I said, if you just delete one bit at a time, or you can what you can do instead of deleting it is you press Control X, which cuts it. You save it, and then if something goes wrong and it's not right, you can just paste it back in, and that's the easiest way to do this. And you'll soon find that do this two or three times, and you'll get very used to it. Just remember, just be cautious, and just make sure you delete the right bits. You can certainly pause the video at each section, and you'll see how which bits I've taken off. So just pause the video. Go to your website, delete the bits that I've um, I've marked, and then reload your website. Make sure it's okay before moving on. So I tend to make one change at a time, check it's all right before I make the next one. The reason being, if I make too many changes, then it's likely to cause um, a problem. So hopefully you've got that. If there's anything more you need or you don't quite understand that, leave a comment and I'll try and explain it a bit more for you and perhaps help you out with whatever theme you're 